So I'm going to make this video for Mike and for anybody else that wants to try and do FT8 without an audio interface. So we're just going to give this a go. Okay, right now I'm hooked up to this radio. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Okay. And I've got my JTDX running. I'm going to go ahead and close that out for simplicity. I'm going to undo this USB to the signal link. And we're going to go in here. And we're gonna um, we're gonna fire up the JST WSJTX. I never can remember the damn name for that. So to start with, we're gonna need to go in your file here. Click settings. Okay. Radio, we're going to click none and we're going to PTT for Vox and we'll click OK. We don't even actually have to do that. If you click OK, what it does is it closes the tab out. So you, then you have to go back into settings, click audio. Okay, we're not going to use this line in. And you see how it says not found? That's because I disconnected it. We're going to use the microphone that's built in the laptop and then we're going to use the speakers that are built into the laptop. Okay. And then we're going to click OK. So what's going to happen now, if I start calling CQ, um, you will hear the noise come out of my speakers. OK? So what we're going to do, the speakers are right over here somewhere. We're going to put our microphone right here. OK? Um, We'll turn the radio back on. This microphone here, as long as I'm quiet, it will pick up. See, look. It's going to start decoding. See? Now... One of the things that you need to do, though, is you need to go and install the clock software that keeps your clock updated. Um, if you don't do that, you'll be chasing your tail. So let me see if I can find that for you. We just go uh, FT8 time FT8 time sync software, okay, and then. There's a guy here, K0PIR, and he has a web page, and he's got everything on it. He shows you what it looks like, he tells you how to do it. So there's also this one for Mac and Linux, I think. So if you scroll down through here, it'll show you where to get the net time download. So you click that and download it, install it. I don't know why this is, but computers cannot keep time, believe it or not. They can keep time, but not like within 20 seconds or something like that. They deviate. So um, this guy's website is just easy to find. So you can see I'm talking. It's picking up background noise. My furnace is running in the background. But we're decoding all these guys. See? So now... This radio here might be a little touchy for the Vox, but okay. Oh. Watch. If I'm super careful... Okay, this guy's 11. Look, we're transmitting right now. 100 watts. Now, we need to be careful not to talk in the background. Because then people will hear me on the frequency. Just watch. We will make a contact.
Now, it might be a little difficult. Hey, you're playing back. That's no interface whatsoever. Nothing. Vox, my laptop's microphone, my microphone near my laptop's speaker. Look. Successful. We can put it in the books. We go look this guy up. He's in Nebraska. It's not even a very close contact from Arizona. Run 80. So see people, you do not need to use this. You can sit here and do this all day long. Make contacts. There, let's go ahead and just we'll call somebody else. This guy right here. Wait, why is it not clicking? Okay. If it's a negative one, it's a pretty good signal. Here we are. We're calling him. It takes extra long. And you put your grid in there. I don't want to talk too loud. Okay. So, I don't think I need to show you guys anymore. That's real, real simple. So, Mike, I hope you can figure this out with your Kenwood. You know how to get a hold of me if you need to. 73, everybody else. Good luck out there.